start capture. And I'm going to pan my audience. And I have one, two, three, four, and myself for Christopher. Okay. My name is Christopher Brown, and I want to tell you a little bit about myself and my reasons for returning to college. First, some history. I graduated high school in May of 2000 with high hopes and expectations, but little in the way of dedication and maturity. I enrolled at the local junior college as my lack of motivation in high school meant that I had neither the grades uh, to go to college affordably. My first semester should have been a warning sign. I dropped most of my classes or failed them because I missed the drop date. The reason was simple. I had not yet adjusted to the fact that I was in the real world and that actions have consequences, consequences that may last years or a lifetime. My second semester was much the same story, and after that semester, I had obligations that would prevent me from continuing my education. Between the fall 2000 semester and the spring 2001 semester, I got married to my high school sweetheart, and she became pregnant almost immediately. From that point forward, college became something I wished I could have completed, not something I felt I would ever be able to actually do. Uh, to make a long and painful story short, after three years, we got divorced. I still felt at this point that I couldn't go back to college. So I worked whatever job I could find, uh, jobs that I hated to pay the bills. In March of 2008, I was given the opportunity of a lifetime. I was offered a job training at a company, uh, become a manager and owner of a franchise of that company. Um, I jumped at the opportunity. After a few months, I was asked to transfer to Norman, Oklahoma to continue my training, which had been expected. That was, uh, it was expected that I would train under at least two other managers uh, before I got my own store. After a few years, I felt that I was at most one or two years from getting my own store when I was asked to go to dinner by the representative of the company responsible for making sure that management trainees were progressing. This was normal, about once every six months or so, he would ask uh, the assistants to go to dinner. However, after we sat down, we're getting ready to order, uh, he informed me that I would no longer be a part of the program. Um, I still had my job, I still had my employment, but I wouldn't, had no chance of ever becoming an owner manager. I was devastated. This is what I thought my future was going to be, what my retirement was going to be. Uh, so I started looking about for another uh, goal to aim for, and I decided to go back to college. So I applied for and was admitted to Oklahoma City Community College, and was getting ready to enroll, and then I had to buy a new car and change apartments, and unfortunately I decided I couldn't go back just yet. Next year I decided nothing else was going to get in my way. Filled out my FAFSA, enrolled, was ready to go, and then found out that because of the mistakes I had made uh, after graduating high school with college that my financial aid wasn't, uh, wasn't available. So I dropped all but two classes, paid for them out of pocket, and towards the end of that first semester, I, I filed an appeal with the financial aid office and had my financial aid reinstated after some back and forth. So um, after that, I was able to start going back full time. I had made A's in my first two classes, and I decided I was going to make A's or B's in all the rest of my classes. And so far, I have. I have 30 credit hours in with Oklahoma City Community College, and in only six more semesters, including this one, I will have my bachelor's degree in computer science, and my future will be secure. I am counting the audience again, and there is one, two, three, four, and myself for Christopher.